One thing we all have in common is that we all want to have great relationships. The quality of our lives is determined by the quality of our relationships. And if you're like me, you've probably had seasons in your life where all of your closest relationships just seem to be going really, really well. They're healthy and you're happy in your relationships. And then you've had other times where it feels like you are in conflict with everyone. Life is all about relationships with God and with others. And at the same time, relationships can be hard. When two people come into relationship with one another, they're each bringing an entire life's worth of experiences, hurts, pains, anxieties, with them into the relationship. And each of these things, each of these hurts, anxieties, insecurities, these are like tiny little pebbles that we collect in an invisible backpack that we carry around on our backs all the time. And what happens is over time, as we keep collecting these little pebbles in our backpack, it becomes super heavy. And when it is so hard to love and to care for and to serve someone else, when we're carrying around our own heavy bag of rocks, it makes me think of my son who just started junior high and he has to carry his backpack around from class to class during the day. And that backpack has got to weigh at least 30 pounds. I hate seeing him carry this thing around because he puts it on his back and it's like he's leaning forward just to balance out the weight of this heavy backpack. And here's what I can tell you. If there's another kid, if he's like walking down the hallway and there's another kid that drops a pencil or something, there's no way my son is bending down to pick up that pencil and serve that other kid. Because if he does, if he bends over, he is gonna topple right over from the weight of that backpack. And maybe, the same is true for you. Maybe you want to have healthy, thriving relationships where you can give love and receive love and give and serve with someone else. But it's hard because you're carrying around this heavy bag of rocks on your back. If that's you, I want to encourage you today with Jesus's words. We're going to be looking at John chapter 13, verse 34. And here's what's happening in that scene. Jesus is gathered together with the disciples. This is actually their last gathering that they'll have together before Jesus is arrested and crucified. And so he knows this is his last chance to be with them together. And so he is modeling this amazing act of service and he's kind of hitting all of the major things he really wants them to do and to remember. And he just got done performing this outrageous act of service. He, as their teacher, their leader, their Lord, had just gotten down and actually washed the disciples' feet. And he explained to them that he did this because this is an example for them how he wants them to love and serve one another. And then as he finished, he gave them a new commandment. And this is John 13, 34. Jesus says, a new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Jesus gave us a blueprint for how to love one another. He gave us the key to having healthy relationships, to love as he loved. So here's my question for you today. Do you know how Jesus loves you? He says, just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. Here's what this tells us. It starts with him. If you want to have great relationships, it starts with a great relationship with Jesus. So do you know how he loves you? Have you let his love move from the head and the knowledge level to the heart and the soul level? Have you shared with Jesus what's in your backpack? And have you started to hand some of those pebbles back over to him? 
you trusted him to heal you and to love you right where you're at today. Friends, Jesus loves you. He loves you completely and without prerequisite or condition. He knows you fully and he wants to be close with you. He loves you enough to serve you and to die for you. I want to encourage you today to let this truth wash over you. Let his love overwhelm you. And here's what will happen. As you lean more and more into Jesus and his love, his strength, his grace, his healing and forgiveness, that bag of rocks that you're carrying on your back will become lighter and lighter. And you will become freer and freer to love others the way that Jesus taught with a heart of service and others first. This is what the Christian life is all about. Learning to receive the love and the mercy and the grace of Jesus and then giving that love away to others. He works it in and we work it out. So friends, let him work it in. Choose to receive it and watch what Jesus will do in your relationships. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for who you are and how you love us. Thank you for giving, this, giving us this incredible example of what love is and how to love one another. Jesus, I pray that today your love and your mercy and your grace would fill us and overwhelm us so that we may go on to give that same love away to others. Lord, I pray that you would bless our relationships and guide us today as we love others well. It's in your name I pray. Amen.